How's it going guys? It's Double Wide 6 and today uh, I'm bringing you a video on uh, electricity. So uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with my channel, I like making videos every week on different things that I'm fixing. Um, everything from uh, how to build a shed, how to fix lawnmowers, how to do some plumbing repairs, um, and basically whatever I'm doing around the house. So. Feel free to subscribe if you're interested in my videos and feel free to post questions. I'll be happy to answer them. So for today's project, what we're going to be talking about is how to splice a wire and how to solder. So if you take a look at this drill, it only has about a three foot cord. I've been using the drill and it's been working great. Um, However, it's kind of a pain because the uh, cord's so short, so you always need an extension cord with it. I have another cord here, and I'm going to show you how to solder that wire on to the black wire, and uh, we're going to make the repair, so just follow along. Alright guys, so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our old plug, and we're just going to cut it off. So we'll just take some snips and cut through that wire. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our knife and we're going to actually slit the casing a little bit. So we're just trying to slit through it. Wire's tougher than you'd think. A lot of string in there so it doesn't break. Alright. And apparently there's just two wires in there, just a white and a black. So um, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm probably gonna switch from this white wire to uh, a wire that has just two wires in it. The wire on the drill only has a hot wire and a common wire. So I have another wire just kind of laying around. So we're going to use this wire, and you'll notice it doesn't actually have a grounded uh, plug on the end. Okay, so we're going to use this wire instead of the white. So now that we got our wire stripped back here a little bit, we're going to cut off this excess. A lot of times with power tools and stuff they have this string in here. It helps keep the wire flexible so it winds up nice and also it keeps it strong so in case you uh, yank on the cord it shouldn't break. Alright so this wire is about ready to go. I'm just going to shorten these leads and we'll strip them. I like leaving the leads about uh, an inch and a half, two inches long for what we're doing. And I'm going to take my wire stripper. This is 14 gauge wire, and I want to strip off about half an inch off each wire. And I'm preparing the wire on the drill and the wire I'm going to splice together the same way. Once you have these stripped, you want to twist the wires together. This is what you call braided wire not solid wire and that also helps make it flexible so we'll just twist those together like this and then we're going to solder this together and do what they call tinning it so I'm going to be using some soldering flux and basically what this is is a paste that helps prepare the wire to be soldered and it also helps clean it I'm just going to take the ends of both wires that I have and I'm actually just going to dip them in the paste like this and then I'm going to take my soldering iron and I'm going to tin the wires. So we have our wire and what I'm going to do is just take my pliers and set them down on the bench like that. That will support the wire and I'm going to grab my soldering iron and a little bit of solder and what we want to do is tin these wires which means heat them up and you just want to apply a little bit of solder so that the wires turn silver once the wires are silver they're tinned so that's basically all you have to do to tin them and uh, we'll try and zoom in and take a look at what that looks like you can see that they're now covered with solder 
So you want to do that with both wires. All right, now that we have all our wires tinned, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some shrink wrap, about two inch pieces, and we're going to need four of those. So I'm just cutting this. And you want to put this on the wires before you solder them together. So you want to take that shrink wrap, and you're going to slip it over each wire. It's a little long. I'm going to make it shorter. And actually, now that I come to think about this, I only need uh, two pieces of shrink wrap right now. So one there, and one up here. So we have shrink wrap prepared on the white and the black wire. Just like that. The next thing I'm going to do is get a bigger piece of shrink wrap. This is 3 8 inch shrink wrap and I'm going to get a piece about 7 inches long. So I'll just cut this roughly 7 inches. And I'm going to take this bigger one and I'm going to slide it on the wire that's connected to the drill. So I'm just going to go over top of that drill wire and we're going to carefully work it back here until we get our end to stick out. There it comes and we're just going to go like that and we're going to work with that a little bit later. So I have my bigger shrink wrap on my drill wire and my two split my uh, two small pieces of shrink wrap on my plug wire the next step we're going to take all four wires and a needle nose pliers we're going to grab the tip of the wire and we're going to wrap it right around the back kind of like that so one more time grab the tip of the wire with the tip of the needle nose and you want to use the rounded part of your needle nose pliers to help you make the hook kind of like that. So you wrap it right around. You just want to make two small hooks on each of your wires. So all the wires are now hooked and what we're going to do is we're going to take the two black wires and we're going to hook them together just like that and we're going to take the two white wires and hook them together like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pliers and I'm going to carefully crimp these together. This really helps make a strong solder joint. So you just want to carefully get them each crimped together. Now we're going to solder the wires together. We're going to add some extra solder to this joint. Okay, so now we're ready to solder one more time. All right, so I have our wires, and I'm just going to add a little bit of flux to them just to help the solder flow and stick a little better. And now we're going to solder them together now that they're bent onto each other. So you're just going to take your soldering needle, heat this up, and just gradually apply a little bit of solder to it and just let that solder run a little bit and that should make a good strong joint and you just want to make sure that you get both of them soldered on there properly you're not adding that much solder just a little bit once it really starts you hear that flux fizzle and sizzle like that that means it's ready to run and that looks pretty good so now it's definitely soldered together alright so we're going to take our shrink wrap and we're just going to slide it back so it covers the exposed wires and the whole idea of the shrink wrap here is just to keep the wires from arcing or touching together because then you'll have a short circuit so you could use electrical tape if you didn't have shrink wrap Next step, we're going to take our heat gun and we're going to heat this up. So we got our heat gun. Here's the heat gun. 
and we're just going to heat that up till it shrinks. So I like to do that on a low setting, and uh, I'm just applying heat to the shrink wrap. And uh, we're trying to make it shrink. Moving up to a high setting. And you can see it's gradually pulling in a little bit here. And that's what you want. You want to keep that gun moving. Try and get all the way around it. That pulled in pretty well. Next step is to take your 3 8 inch shrink wrap that we have on our plug end, or actually the drill end, and we're going to slide it up over everything and completely cover our opening or exposed wires. And we just have about two inches overlap on each end. It's a little hard to see. And now we're going to take the heat gun and we will heat that up. And that completes our splicing of the wire. Now we need to see if the drill's actually going to work. So uh, I'm going to take the plug here and I'm going to plug it in. I'm actually going to let this wire cool down a little bit. It's pretty hot. So give me a second here. Alrighty. So we're, we're going to plug this thing in and uh, see if it works. Ah, another successful repair. So thanks for watching this video with me. As I said, I'm Double Wide 6. I ask that you would uh, subscribe to me. All kinds of variety of different videos. So, uh, you know, if you subscribe, every time I upload a video, it'll automatically show when you log on to YouTube. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great evening. We'll see you.